वेलकम टू टेक्निकली एक्सप्लेन दिस इज ज्योमेट्री लेसन टू विच इज अबाउट ट्राइंगल्स सो अ ट्राइंगल वी ऑल नो हैज थ्री साइड एंड थ्री इंटीरियर एंगल्स एंड अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट ट्राइंगल इज दट द सम ऑफ द एंगल्स ऑफ द ट्राइंगल इज ऑलवेज इक्वल टू वन एटी डिग्री सो हियर वी हैव थ्री एंगल्स एंड इफ यू सम एट वी गेट वन एटी डिग्री सिमिलरली इफ यू सम ड्रीज थ्री एंगल्स वी विल गेट वन एटी डिग्री so the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is always equal to 180 degree and the other important point is that the length of any side of a triangle is always smaller than the sum of the other two sides which means that if we have three sides for example a b c so the a will always be smaller than the sum of b plus c similarly b will always be smaller than the sum of a plus c and similarly c will always be smaller than the sum of a plus b so the sum of any side of a triangle will always be smaller than the sum of other two sides so this is what the sum of other two sides and the sum of third side will always be smaller than and always greater than the length of the difference of two sides so the length of any side of a triangle will always be greater than the difference of the lengths of other two sides which means that a must be greater than b minus c so the length of b is my one side c is my other side if i find the difference of the lengths of these triangles my third uh, line length of the third line will always be greater than the length of the difference of those two lines similarly b will always be greater than the difference of the lengths of other two lines which are a and c and similarly c will always be greater than the difference of the lengths of other two lines which are a and b so in a triangle the length of the third side is always smaller than the sum of the other two sides and is always greater than the length of the difference of the two sides and if we have angles like here a b and c so if a is smaller than b is smaller than c it implies that the length of a is smaller than b and smaller than c and on the basis of side lengths we have three types of triangles this is equilateral triangle in which all the three sides are equal since all the three sides are equal so the all the three angles are also equal and we know that the sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degrees so every angle is 60 degree isosceles triangle has two equal sides as you can have a look this side and this side is equal in length while this side is of different length and scalar has three different sides so this side this side and this side are all of different lengths and another important triangle which is called right angle triangle in right angle triangle one interior angle is 90 degree and the side opposite to this 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse and it is always the longest side so the side that is always opposite to the 90 degree is called hypotenuse and this so, so if we have a triangle here this is my hypotenuse because it is opposite it is the side opposite to the 90 angle uh, to the 90 angle so this is why it is called hypotenuse and this will always be the longest side and remember that pythagoras theorem only applies to right angle triangle it does not apply to any other type of triangle and by pythagoras theorem you know that pythagoras theorem is equal to hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square also to find the perimeter of the triangle we need to simply sum the three sides so if we have a triangle and their lengths are 1 2 3 so the perimeter of this triangle will be 6 why because i need to simply sum the lengths of these three sides and the area of triangle is 0.5 multiplied by base multiplied by height or 1 by 2 multiplied by base multiplied by height because 0.5 means 1 by 2 uh, usually the base is easy to recognize but height might be sometimes difficult to re recognize especially if we have a triangle like this uh, where we cannot recognize height so, so, so then it is always better to extend this triangle and uh, find height of this triangle so sometimes the height is difficult to recognize but you need to be more uh, vigilant with the height uh, so the area of the triangle is 0.5 multiplied by base multiplied by height okay now let us do some problems so in a triangle two angles are 60 degree and 50 degree what is the third angle we can easily find this because we know if we know that the sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degree 
so suppose the third angle is c so c plus 60 plus 50 will be equal to 180 degree why because the sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degree and if i solve this i am going to get the value of c which is 110 because uh, 60 plus 50 is 110 and we need to subtract 110 from 80 and then we will get what we will get 70 so the angle of uh, angle of c is 70 so how did we find it we find it by using the conclusion that the sum of the angles of triangle is 180 degree that's why we got c is equal to 70 degree another in a triangle the length of the two sides of a triangle are 4 cm and 6 cm what will be the range of the length of the third side we know that the length of the third side is always smaller than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides so the length of the third side this third side is always let this let me name it as capital c so this third side is smaller than the sum of these two lengths which means that it is smaller than 10 cm and it is greater than the difference of these two lengths the absolute difference of these two lengths which are 2 cm so it is greater than 2 cm and it is smaller than 10 cm so we can represent is that c is greater than 2 cm and is smaller than 10 cm so the range of c is from anywhere greater than 2 cm and less than 10 cm so if you know that the length of the third side is always greater then the sum of then the difference of the other two sides and it is always always greater uh, it is uh, if it, so if you know that the length of the third side is always greater than the difference of the other two sides and is always smaller than the sum of the other two sides so you can easily solve these kinds of problems other problem is that in an isosceles tri right angle triangle hypotenuse length is 6 under root 2 isosceles means two sides are equal so if we have a right angle triangle in which we have two equal sides of course the hypotenuse length is given which is 6 under root 2 and we know that hypotenuse side is a side which is opposite to the 90 degree angle so this is my 90 degree this is my base this is my height because it is an isosceles triangle so both <coughs> so the lengths of these two sides are equal so let me name the length of these two sides as x now it is a right angle triangle so i can use the pythagoras theorem which says that hypotenuse square is equal to base square plus perpendicular square and hypotenuse length is 6 under root 2 so 6 under root 2 square is equal to base square here my base is x i have named it as x x square and my perpendicular is also x why because it is an isosceles triangle in which two uh, sides are equal so 6 under, under root 2 whole square we get 36 into 2 which means 72 and x square plus x square is 2x square so from here we get x square is equal to 36 and x is equal to 6 because the side of the angle uh, tri uh, the side of the uh, 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 the side cannot be a negative value so we will have x is equal to 6 so now the length of this side is 6 and the length of this side is 6 so we have a triangle like this now this is 6 this is 6 and this is my hypotenuse which is 6 under root 2 now we are told to find the area of the triangle so the area of the triangle is half multiplied by base multiplied by height here the base is 6 and the height is also 6 so we have half multiplied by 6 multiplied by 6 and if we solve it we get 18 because 6 multiplied by 6 is 36 and divided by 2 is 18 so the area of the triangle with the hypotenuse length 6 under root 2 is 18 so we will simply write 18 here that's it for today. If you like my video, please subscribe to my channel Technically Explained.